Personal views are owned by individuals with default user level access. These views will only be visible to the user who created it or decides to share access with another user. So to begin creating a personal view, first we're going to open the entity we want to create the personal view under. So for this example, I'm going to create the view under leads. Then by selecting this dropdown and scrolling to the bottom, we can see the option to create a new personal view. So I'm going to select that and you'll notice that it's going to open Advanced Find. Once Advanced Find opens, we can see that we are searching for information within the leads entity. As for the saved view, we are creating a new one. Next, we can begin selecting the criteria we want this view to contain. So first I'm going to select name and I'm going to change it from equals to contains data. Next, I'm going to select industry and I'm going to search for the industries of service retail, brokers, and wholesale. Then I'm going to select number of employees and I want it to be greater than a thousand. And lastly, I'm going to select purchase processes and I'm going to change it from equals to contains data. Once you're done selecting the data for the view, you can go ahead and select results. What you'll notice is that the information for these results are irrelevant to the information that I'm looking for, and that's because we have to change the default columns into the columns that match the information within this view. So to do that, we're going to go back to Advanced Find and select Edit Columns. Since I don't need business phone number and company name, I'm going to delete those columns. Then I'm going to select Add Columns and choose Industry, Number of Employees, and Purchase Processes. Then I will select OK. And if needed, you can use the arrows to the right to change the order that the columns will appear in the view. So now when I go back to the view, I can select Results again and the proper information is displayed. Now the view isn't created just yet. We have to give it a name and save. So to do that, we can select Save As. And then once you're done, we can close Advanced Find. Now going back to the Leads Entity, when I drop down the menu, we can now see the new Personal View, and when it's selected, we can see the same information that was in Advanced Find. And that is how you can create a new Personal View.